Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna to check it out how to make 3D wavy text in Illustrator. First step, click on the fill, click on the non, click on the stroke, select the color, I'm gonna go with black, select the pen tool, click, press and hold shift, create a line, go to the effects, distort and transform, zigzag, we're gonna decrease the ridges per segments to two, increase the size, and click on smooth, I might increase the size somewhere around 22, 21, click OK, go to object, expand appearance now go to the pen tool select the pen tool and we're gonna need to search for the center point so i'm gonna go and drag the mouse somewhere here if i drag it here you can see the center line and that magenta line and i'm gonna drag it all the way to the line where's the intersection point here and i'm gonna click and i'm gonna add an anchor point i'm gonna do the same thing with the right part i'm gonna go here intersection point click now I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the right anchor point, click on delete. Also do the same thing with the left anchor point, click on delete. Great, press and hold alt, drag it upwards. Also press shift to isolate. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. Select the pen tool, click on this anchor point and connect it with the bottom wavy line. Go to the pathfinder, click on unite. So it's gonna connect this also. If you don't have the pathfinder, go to windows and select the pathfinder. I'm also gonna make this rounded, go to the stroke, make the cap and corner around it. I'm gonna decrease the weight somewhere around 0.5 and I'm gonna click on the fill and select the color for. I'm gonna make it lighter. Great. I'm also gonna make a new copy, press and hold out, drag it down and I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness a little bit more like 12. Go to object, expand, click OK, go to the pathfinder, click on minus front so it made it more narrow. We're gonna select the type tool, click, type in whatever you want, Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up, right click, create outline, right click again and go to arrange, send to back. Now select the text and the wavy line at the bottom at the same time. Now go to the object, go to envelope distort and make with top object. As you can see, it replaced the shape with the text. Now we're gonna go to the object, expand, click OK. From here, I'm gonna pull the text, press and hold shift to isolate into the a wavy line. From here, I'm gonna press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift. This way we're gonna create a new copy. Select the text and the shape, press and hold alt, and drag it to the right and upwards. Also press shift, so it's gonna isolate it like this. So we're gonna create the 3D shape now. I'm gonna release it somewhere here. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both text. Go to the object, go to blend, make. Now double click here on the blend settings, select specified steps, increase it to 100, click OK, go to the object, go to expand, click OK, and go to the pathfinder, click on unite. Great, from here we're gonna add some stroke. Go to the stroke, increase it. I'm gonna increase it with one, go to the stroke settings and make it rounded, cap and corner, go to the object again, expand, click OK, go to the pathfinder, click on unite, something like this. It's gonna have some issues in here, but you can clean it up later. I'm gonna select this text, I'm gonna pull it in, press and hold shift, I'm gonna recolor it as white and I'm gonna place it somewhere, somewhere here. I'm also gonna replace the background color a little better. I'm actually gonna do it something like this. Look at that. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the bottom part and I'm gonna pull it upwards. Also, if you wanna check out the full colorful version, you can click the join button near the subscribe button and select secret content, and that way you can watch the full tutorial and you also can watch like other premium Illustrator, advanced tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, and much more. Thanks for watching.